Okay. Go to bed, old woman. I just woke up. Why would I go back to bed? Uh, I, I can hear cranky pants in your voice. I'm not cranky. Not yet. <laughs> I will be as soon as I go to work. <laughs> Aww, <my mom. sighs> How's the roads and shit down there? Uh, I don't know. I walked to the bus stop. It was pretty icy. Why did you walk to the bus stop? Because I have to walk my son to the bus stop. Oh, okay. He's okay. Seven years old. No, no, I just. <laughs> <laughs> Butthead. Well, what do you think I'm going to a bus stop? <laughs> With you, there is multiple reasons. Generally, because one of my kids is still in school. <laughs> Nah, don't cut it. Where's Dave this morning? Uh huh. Come on, you know everything. What are you eating? Never mind. <laughs> Not everything, but almost everything. <laughs> God, you do, he's the ones driving me nuts. Yeah, how come you are on, or are you always on in the morning, like, before work? No, I'm not usually on there early in the morning. I just, I don't have to go into work until 1.30, so. Ah, that's why. Uh, I figured I'd pop on for a little bit. So what is Daryl up to this morning? She's waking up. Me too. Playing warships. Ah. Come on, you gotta come in here and torpedo Dave. <laughs> uh, that would be just glorious. Sell some of this junk out of my backpack. Crafting junk or just junk junk? Just junk junk in general. Every time I do that, I get more. <laughs> it's like, I can't win. Well, you know how they just, every now and then, they give you those stupid worthless items that you can't refine. They just sit in your backpack. You don't want them, your alts don't want them. <laughs> yeah. So I sell them for crappy little gold pieces. All the gold in the coffer keep going. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll give you one guess. No, I mean in the guild coffer, not not the guild bank. No, oh, I lock the oh. gold. I lock the gold down in the guild bank. Nobody can take it out anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Did Tiny take too much? <sighs> Among other people, yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Wrong game. Yeah. You're fired. <laughs> it's still wrong, Dave. You're fired. <laughs> I'll go sink a warship or something. Uh, I already done that. Stupid belts and crap in here, holy smokes. People are kicking in again. Still. Do what? I said your hay fever was kicking in still. No, I'm fighting a cold. Oh. Mm, I'm worse. just getting over it again. Uh, I, uh, I haven't gotten it. I just I keep fighting it. Like I've been pumping vitamin C and vitamin D and melatonin like crazy. I haven't actually gotten sick. Do it. Yeah, it's don't just do it, man. The... Just don't do it. Well, you kind of really don't have much of a choice. You either get sick or you don't. <laughs> I never get sick. That's the best part. I like to say I don't. Whenever I go to give them, help my ex out, and there's the everybody's sick now, so don't come over, you'll get sick. I'm like, do I ever get sick? No. <laughs> My ex was like that too. He hardly ever got sick, but when he did, oh my god, it's fucking annoying. <laughs> if I get sick, it's got, like you said, it's got to be bad, and it's only usually for a couple days. Our team is taking the lead. Just Citadel to Iowa from 15 kilometers away. Yeehaw! So don't forget, guys, that I won't be on next week. Oh, Dave will forget. No, Fog will forget. The Foggy Foggy? Or... <laughs> well, I was gonna, I was gonna take my laptop, and then I realized that it's not a gaming laptop, and it really just doesn't have the room for this game, and plus Discord uh -huh. and everything else. So I was like, I'm just not even gonna bother. So I'll be chilling it. So the, the, going to Framingham. Who? I have this Framingham. I'm staying at a hotel called the Crown Plaza. I don't know. Never heard of it. Okay. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of what I said. Okay. I'll be meetings from 7 a.m. till 3.30 p.m. So much fun. I gotta figure out what to do after that. <laughs> Glad it's you and not me. Actually, I probably should look up this hotel. Framingham, not Farmington, Framingham. Iowa for the win. <sighs> 
So I did a thing last night. A thingy, eh? I did. <laughs> what was the thingy? I, I bought myself a new purse. <laughs> you and my mom would get along really well. No, you don't understand. I haven't bought a new purse in like eight years. Like, I'm not a purse person at all. <laughs> then I why? Barely stand actually carrying one, but kind of have to. Huh? <sighs> why do you have to? If you don't normally carry one. Well, because my other purse was falling apart. Ah. <laughs> no, you have to, like, I have to carry the checkbook. I have to carry all my cards, my keys, you know, stuff for the, you know, certain things, like, that I need for the kids, you know, just girl that's stuff. Why, that's why you know, I, lipstick, I use Lipstick, you know, or chapstick, you know. I use a day timer. I don't need, I don't use wallet. Well, we get lost too easy. Well, you know, you're a male. You could get away with that. You guys usually just have, you know, like one or two things, and that's it. Oh, no, no, no. My day timer is full. Probably got like 20 sleeves for cards, and it's full. I got too many credit cards. Ah! No, that's what I was doing. Oh, so what are they book me for here? days, one guest. Doesn't tell me. Don't you hate that? What's it not telling you? It's not telling me, like, what my room's like. Gah. hate that. <laughs> That's going to be a very good uh, hotel if it's not giving you any information. No, it looks very pretty. Hmm, books are deceiving. It's a business hotel, it's not. Some crappy little... A business hotel? How do you tell the difference? Ooh, on-site fitness room. It's got rowers, treadmills, ellipticals, weights, and a stationary bicycle. That sounds about normal. What? What was that all about? Is that bad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm looking at the, the bedding choice that they made. Oh. It's very Blah. chocolate brown, but the carpet is like an OCD nightmare. Like, oh, so you may not come back alive. Oh, it's got like these circles. And I mean, they're uniform circles. They're just very, it's a very patterned carpet. And I don't like patterned carpet unless it's an area rug. And even then it must be tastefully done. I mean, this is tastefully done, but it's way too busy for me. Like I can see this now. I'm going to like go crazy in my room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good carpet driver. 
drives you crazy. Hey, we don't send you now. <laughs> Can I have the not brown room? <laughs> you better phone them ahead of time and say, I can't have that room. I'm OCD. <laughs> Please change. Pretty crown molding for a hotel. All right. Uh, oh, I don't really want to go. So in essence, what does this training do for your career? Uh, I don't know, Daryl. Oh, okay. I don't. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I really don't know what they. You know, everybody has to go through this. Oh, okay. Every supervisor, and it's basically stuff that a lot of stuff that has to do with like running certain reports, how to read the reports, you know, it, I've never been with a company that is so behind technology wise, like bed, bed, no, seriously, like bed, bath and beyond waste so much paper, so much paper. They're trying to switch. Um, like, I don't know if no, you've ever been in a bed bath. Oh yeah. But, when you go in a Bed Bath & Beyond, everything is signed by either a 6x9 paper sign or a 5x3 paper sign or a 2x3 paper sign. Now, you would think that the way these signs print, they would print multiple on a page. Okay. Mm, not always. So, a 6x9, they will put one 6x9 on an 8.5x11 sheet because you can only fit one 6x9 on an 8.5x11 on the 11 sheet. Now, smart thing to do would make their signs five and a half by five, or five and a half by eight and a half. But they don't, because if they did it that way, they could actually get two signs per piece of paper. Uh -huh. The um, five by threes, you should be able to at least fit four. But for some reason, they don't. They only put two right down the center of the paper. And then the five by threes, they can fit six, which that one they did, or the two by threes, they can fit six. So they did that correct. But it's just like, it's such a waste of paper because if one group has one, you know, six by nine and two five by threes and like a few five, you know, two by threes, instead of grouping them and, and making them fit, it prints them in order. So it becomes very paper, paper wasteful. And then you have wow. to cut out all those sheets of paper. Oh, <laughs> cut around the edges, yay! Yeah, exactly, because we have to leave the black borders on. Mm. So now they're going to channel stripping on the, the wooden shelves. So we put labels inside the, the channel stripping, which is what I've been doing almost my entire life in retail, is using pegs, peg hooks and channel strips. Well, they're just now using channel strips when most companies now are like using digital signs <laughs> so they can just electronically change them and okay, not have on, any paper waste uh, how big would these digital signs be well if you if you get the digital channel strips or if if you have the the digital signs that list everything that's on that shelf uh -huh. you would need just one tablet Okay, well, I guess Canada is far behind too, then, because Walmart doesn't do it, Canadian Tire doesn't do it. Uh, no, it's you're not going to find it in big box retails like that. They're still going to do channel strippings because it's not cost effective for them. But like the department stores, like say like Kohl's or TJ Maxx, places like that, that's where you're going to see the digital signs, Sears, things like that. That you know they only have, you know, a minimal amount of fixtures. So, yeah, it just it just boggles me. And then like these reports that they print, they're the they're, half of them are just pointless, absolutely pointless. And then you have to retain these reports for like so many years, which means you have to figure out a place to store these things in an already overcrowded stock room. When if they half these reports were kept electronically, that would solve half their problems use a cloud-based storage, but see, they're still winning on Windows Business 2000. So, yeah, Fine. there's that. <sighs> 
but you know, there's another funny thing. You can tell all the American stores in Canada. Because they're behind, they're behind the times when it comes electronically. Like, pretty much every, every Canadian store, I know a lot of people don't like it, or have it down in the States, have a tap, right? What's you know, tap? Okay, instead of putting your card in a slot or... Oh, a, yeah, I know what you mean. Pass. We sure, call it pass down sure. here. But the American ones up here don't have it. So you got Lowe's, you got uh, Home Depot. Well, you know why we don't use it? And a uh, lot of a lot of companies that have the option on their debit cards, we don't use it because it's 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 basically free reign for scanners. That's how a lot of people's cards get stolen, their card numbers, because it's easy to hack the free, the fast pass. Without a pin number, what's the point of stealing a car a number? Because. It's easy to repen a, a number. Hmm. It, it really is, yeah. I'll keep uh, using my tap, I love it. Castle Raven Loft. We even had a, 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 a electronic store swear up and down we'll never get it. The pr pressure must have been insane because they got it. <laughs> I laughed. Castle Ravenloft. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'll take the penalty. Wham. Wham. <sighs> no, I just, I hate that dungeon. I do. I thoroughly, 100% hate that dungeon. Which one's I that one? I beat it once. Castle Ravenloft. Yeah, sure. It's the vampire one. Never done it. It's a pain in the ass. It's long. It's not worth it. Never done it, probably never will do it. Uh, 
So you guys doing anything fun for Valentine's Day? Mmm, the kid. Oh, hey, Tips, when'd you come in? The kids. Took the cultist stuff because I've got a Leaver's penalty queue, so I figure the best way to kill 20 minutes is to do the stupid uh, Tyranny quest stuff. So if anybody needs anything in Ice Bear Peak, <laughs> what's Ice Bear Peak? It's the frozen tundra area with Metherothrax. The blue lightning dragon, or frost dragon. Okay. <laughs> you don't remember the dwarven area? The frozen really. dwarven area? I haven't been there in a year. God, it's been so long since I've done these quests. So, Tibbs, do you have, uh, you and Les have any plans for Valentine's Day? So, we're all pretty much doing nothing on Valentine's Day. <laughs> we're a bunch of lame asses, huh? <laughs> Pain in your ass? No, I'm missing a wagon wheel. Damn it, could be your groom instead. <laughs> through the mithril mind. <laughs> mind, not mind. It's the mithril mind. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 
pretty much. I told you to go back to bag. <laughs> Was it you I was talking about killing the, going out killing the uh, coffee vines? Don't think so. Uh, I don't remember. Go around, the, <laughs> go around the world, pissing on all the coffee vines. No, nope, definitely like, wasn't me. <laughs> kill the coffee, kill the coffee. I was laughing my butt off the other day when I saw that meme where somebody put their Papa John's garlic sauce in their K cup thing. Hey, wow. what? It's like, haven't done this one yet. God on earth, why would they do that? I can see how you could easily make the mistake if you weren't awake. <laughs> but fine, you're talking to the person that put the creamer salt. In her, salt in her coffee the other day. It's a rough day. <laughs> uh... lately. <laughs> uh, I can't what they're called. Shoot. <laughs> I think my jiggers. No, no, I'm about to think of my this week. No, the, um, I can't think of the name of it all of a sudden. Um, the little prank thing. I think I'm about to get rid of your red signal. Alters, thank you. Yes, my brain. I haven't gotten any in probably like well over a month. User left your channel. Don't really pay attention with having, you know, VIP, right? No, they used to come as a drop. Yeah, yeah, and no. And they're not dropping anymore. And I'm just wondering if they got rid of them. I just missed a post somewhere. An idiot is attempting to reach you on your cellular What what's wrong? <laughs> you know, here in the background, an idiot is attempting to reach you on your cell phone device. <laughs> oh, that's is that you tips? No, that's me. <laughs> oh. That's where I got my my dear Eric. You should hear us when somebody's calling. Email crap, more email crap, and more email crap. That is the funniest looking dwarf ever. Did you find Dave? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell him you found him. <laughs> 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 My body's not here to defend himself. He's usually up by this time. Holy crap. It's like almost 9 o'clock. I don't remember him saying anything about not being on. Uh, it's 
probably just so used to nobody ever being on this early anymore. Uh, it's usually just you, Dave, and Tibbs. And sometimes best eat. Yeah, but usually I'm he's usually online, at... online. Like, he fires up Discord. I'm usually at work this time. Ah, uh, that's why I was like, what the hell are you doing here? Pinch yourself. It's my night shift night. Again? You know. <laughs> yes. It pretty much just, you know, lives in my veins. So, so, so where's the uh, needle? <laughs> must the have needle works. But yeah, I was gonna say you must it's have It's on the top marks. of the Keurig. See, look, it <laughs> punctures the K cups. Toaster don't work. Toaster broken. No. Trust me, this toaster is not broken. <laughs> but it's abused. No, it's not. It's a Breville. <laughs> a who? No, a I Breville. Didn't... What the hell is that? It's a very expensive toaster. Let's uh. just move it aside. <laughs> It'd be a very exp expensive ornament for me. <laughs> Pop-tarts and toaster strudels a lot. And bagels. <laughs> Lots of bagels and English muffins. Mostly bagels. for nothing.
over a little over a hundred of the uh Are you sure? What are they called? I have no idea. This is thing with oh, Gigi. Wrong thing. <laughs> Market potencies. I need just over a hundred of them for all of the refining I need to do. <laughs> because everything that I need to refine takes ten of them right now. <laughs> Toaster Strudel Sink and Jacks is gonna love them because he usually likes the um, the Boston cream ones and the uh, ones that taste like donuts. Got kind of like a, a creamy inside. He will find the same. So drag it up. Or what? God, don't tell me it's got a timer. Yeah, I'm waiting for the dragon. The who what? The dragon. The, oh, 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 I thought you were talking about your toaster shooter with him and Bob. <laughs> Dragon step. Murderer. <laughs> Why you stub your toe and die? Oh, thanks, bud. Ah, I just ran myself into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that could be classified as a rude awakening. 
<laughs> Something like that. Action stations. So my friend posted this picture of this otter, like holding a stick, and it looks like he's, you know, propping his hands up on a cane like a old elder wizard would do. Uh -huh. And it says, "How come this otter looks like he's about to guide me on some simple quest?" And then um, I posted, "Sir Otter is need of your help. Please help him clear 1,549 sticks from his hands and add 631 moths and two red." rare mud patties. Your reward will be this useless sword in two gold, three silver, and forty coppers. So then my uncle posts, um, you've only done the first part of the quest chain. Your final reward at the end will be a plus one wooden shield and a set of ever cleaning toothpicks. Oh my god. And then my <laughs> my friend Cassandra posted or replied back. She goes, oh, and don't forget, you forgot to mention there's only one spot to obtain the moss, and you can only enter it till you grind out five levels and run a maze of elder bosses 14 times. And I said, you guys don't think that we play way too many sandbox RPGs, do you? Mm. <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah, just not the case. Yeah, you know what's funny? Whenever my, my uncle, who is my other DM, Ah, now it makes more page. sense. Well, a friend of it, you know, posted it on my page, and it just kind of blew up from there. <laughs>
did this really fat guess backwards. <laughs> They did Fangbreaker. They've done Felindras. They did Malabogs. They did Temple of Spider. They've done Spell Plague. Probably Tong. <laughs> Cradle. <laughs> Be nice if they did Castle Dever. No, no, you gotta go do your Spell oh, Plague yeah, right. Caverns. No, they already did that. We'll do it again. And you know what? It could be Grey Wolf or any of those. I mean, that would be fun. What's a Grey Wolf? Grey Wolf's in. I think I did Remember? that one. I don't know. Yes, you did. Did I? did it with James and Tibbs and I. James got his face stuck into a wolf crotch. Asked Asked for his touch me doll. That was the first time the touch me doll got reference. <laughs> Where is that guy James. anyway? Or has he disappeared uh, too? It's just life, you know. Uh, not yet. Holy. Holy. You're well, late. Holy what Batman. the fuck? I went to the grocery store, so bite my shiny metal ass. I can't. We, we already found you in the game. You're a dwarf. Did you eh. go to Walmart? Shit. No. Uh, went to Publix right across 19. Oh, my. Thought, I forgot all about it. Damn it. Easy enough to do. My friend, my friend. What did you forget, Dave? Oh, part, uh, one of those loadable credit cards. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you were talking about that yesterday. I forgot all about it. I was, got all my groceries, found some stuff I wasn't looking for, but. Cool. That's probably why this? you forgot. Mm hmm. You got distracted. Yep. Easy enough to do. You pull the trail. Uh -huh. You pull the trail. Oh, I didn't get lost. <laughs> or go over a cliff. <laughs> And her new name is Wiley Coyote. He uh -oh. likes going off the cliffs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Monica. You're not supposed to giggle at that. What will this earth come to? Oh, my God. Why? It was funny. Well, it might be funny at the time. This is saying she's mm. really gone off the deep end now. There. Oh, that's what I think morning. about that. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm not ready for this shit. <laughs> Trill's message of the day. 
Yes, but your wily e. coyote suit a genius. <laughs> hey, don't forget my Acme parachute. <laughs> and jetpack. <laughs> Yeah, if she, if she ever makes, if she ever plays Sotor, she's gonna make a character named Highly Coyote. What the hell is Sotor? Oh, never mind. That's Star Wars, the Star Wars. Republic. I know, I know. I, I, I was like, oh, you'll get shit. catch up on the acronyms later. Yeah, I know, I know. And good morning, Miss Tibbs. <laughs> oh, she's got the deeper voice than you this morning. Oh, uh, that was that was sexy, Tibbs. Do it again. Do it again. Calm down. Trill, go take a cold shower. Or just step outside without a jacket on. <laughs> or, or just walk your son to the bus. Oh <laughs> Sexiest wife ever. <laughs> okay. Actually, I was thinking she sounded just like, you know, almost the perfect rendition of a female Al. Who what? Female what? Al? <laughs> Al Bundy? How? Oh, how? Yeah. I'm Good sorry. <laughs> she had that down pat. Sorry. That's, an, in, sorry. that's an insult I'm to how. Are you kidding me? There is a female how. Where? Yeah. Yeah, it's called serious. Serious. <laughs> no. Seri no, serious is in the movie back in, two, what is it? No, no, that's Sal. Yeah. Hal's counterpart on Earth. The female variant? I thought it was serious. There's serious. No, no, Sal, there's Hal and Sal. And then there's serious, which is the other. Computer I'm serious. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're serious. <laughs> You're serious fucked. Was from Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, fuck. No. He talks <laughs> to the other one on the death that isn't either of the Hal variants. Yeah, I no, I had never seen that one. That was in 2010. You saw the um, one that was on um, Earth. Yeah. Mud, go, go find a link. Which like, book was it where he was? Go watch the movie. What movie? What, 2010? Oh, 2010. Oh, okay. Roy Scheider, uh, what's it, John Malkovich? Is it Malkovich? Played the father of... Uh, anybody can be a Malkovich. Uh, yeah, you're a real son of a Malkovich. <laughs> <laughs> He has like four computers in the guy's office. He didn't have yeah, anything. but I think the main one was Sal. Sal, which is the female variant of oh, Al. Was his, yeah. his counterpart on her. But meanwhile, back at the end farm, Cheryl Tibbs, having discovered her rebel journals, meant going back for coffee. <laughs> we destroyed. <laughs> I think got her mud. She was writing the ads. The whole time with me. She had little harnesses strapped to their little their little antennae. Much oh uh, what's the uh what's the that one wizard in uh Lord of the Rings with the rabbits towing the sleigh? Oh my god, um the druid of the forest. Uh shit. Yeah. Yes. I right, couldn't I think of his name. That's that's Tibbs, only with hamsters pulling the sleighs and a jerk and rabbit. <laughs> rabbit gerbil <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I still, I still remember the first time I said that in Trill, I thought Tibbs would piss herself laughing. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> T-Mai. The best thing was is whenever I saw the witch on the broom and I was like, Tibbs! Were you in a car accident today? <laughs> <laughs> there was a broom in the middle of the road. <laughs> oh, my. Well, you know those decorations they have which just are like slammed into a tree? Yep. I saw one and I thought, oh, Tibbs bought an Acme uh, uh, broom. <laughs> God. That is bad. <laughs> really bad. Hey, I don't have that as my ringtone for Tibbs like somebody does. Monica! <laughs> oh my! I suggest. Oh, see, now you hurt her. See, listen to me. Listen to me. You hurt her by making her laugh so hard. Yes, but you only hurt the ones you love. And we love you. Oh. Meanwhile. How's 
Officer. Today for me. Well to do this shopping today. The end of this road we live on, and my back just went ballistic. I had to turn around and come up. Did you ever take my suggestion for my ringtone? I don't remember. <laughs> the theme from Jaws? You gave Nate the Imperial March, so. Yeah. I don't know, did Eeyore have a uh, music? You know, I've had the uh, uh, Vesti next. I've had the Dreadnought now, like, a, this is the first battle I've taken it. Uh -huh. Tier 3 Brit, Brit Battleship. There's a thing, you run uh -huh. the Bismarck or the Dreadnought. Did both. Sure. And you get a bunch of flags. Uh huh. You're behind time, Steve. I don't have the Dreadnought yet. Well, it was buy it or and then they had that little thing where you win it. I won it. I did. The tier 6 one? 3. Tier 3. Oh no. I did not run. I did not. The get original that. HMS Dreadnought get that one yeah I think I had you set up as uh, Keithens wasn't it I don't know that or even from Star Trek which one did you what uh, well I suggest originally suggest Jaws Jaws let me see if they have it Donna Donna my favorite song, I, Bruce. I think we're gonna need a bigger boat. Alright, let's see what this one is. Yeah, that'll do it. That works. Uh, that one. <laughs> Pardon. Is that... Is that content? Yeah, I think both so. ships were launched today. D for Dave. Where are you, Which ships? Dave. Bismarck and Dread... Oh, that, that is officially... Right Launch of the Dreadnought. Didn't win, didn't earn shit. Read <laughs> <sighs> deep. Gather. Actually, I have a girl that I work with. Her name's Liz, and I call her Lizzie Borden all the time. And I've been trying to find one with the, the where it says Lizzie Borden and has an or killed her parents with an axe. And I can't find one. Kill it. No. Uh, Lizzie Borden. I forget how that's saying. Remember that? Wasn't like, Lizzie ride. Borden killed her father with an axe or something like that? Gave her father 40 wax. When she saw yeah. what she had done, she gave her mother 40 wax. Yep. Sounds like fun. Only you would say that. <laughs> yeah, was, um, for her time, she was like a massive mass murderer and she got a lot away with it for a long time. Because it was so horrifying to think a female could do that. that uh, what was that movie, Species? We bred the alien, we crossed the alien DNA, human DNA, made it female because it was more docile. Guy look, you don't get out much, do you? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Which was funny. Oh, I thought it was hilarious. When, looked at him straight face. I wonder how they got through that. How many takes that scene took? <laughs> right. Of people not cracking. Well, I don't have business, sir. So I. Okay, my 20 minute pen delay is gone. 
Hey, what was with Neverwinter? Uh, you're in Cradle? You're in Cradle without me? Bitch. <laughs> hey, I'm what was with Neverwinter today? Today? Yesterday. Uh, I don't know about yesterday, but the day before, uh, there were server errors, uh, left and right. Uh, they were having an issue after their, their, their small little maintenance patch they did. Well, they were having them yesterday. I mean, up at about 7 o'clock, so on. Six, uh -huh. six thirty, seven. Even I tried. I, 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 it let me pad. Went back later. To try and log into it. Unable to authenticate. Poor Tiny was having massive withdrawal. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah, he's been having all sorts of issues. I, I, I came on to Team Speak or Team Speak uh, Discord the other night, and he's like, nobody's logging on Discord because there's issues, and I was like. I'm like, well, I need to test and see if it's you or if it's everybody else. So I was like, Tibbs, can you get on? And Tibbs was perfectly clear, but he kept breaking up. So I switched it to Central, which is his his server area, and it helped with him a lot. Um, but I think it's just in general, like all of the – with all the bad weather and everything, I think the, the fiber optics and the satellites are just long out right now. Mm-hmm. Action stations. Um, well, he was – he was – yes, he – was lose he was major drawl. Oh, I'm sure. Can you help me? I'm you know, right in the middle of something. Give me a couple minutes. <laughs> he was firing questions off at uh, Monica like one every thirty seconds the other day. Like, can you send in a report? I'm like, Tiny, I can't get in either. How do I get to send a report? Well, I I use Arc. I don't use Steam. So the minute I I got booted, I was in the middle of running a dungeon. So I instantly logged into Arc and went through Arc and like I always do and, and did my email ticket and yeah. um, sent them yeah. a copy of my crash file and I got an instant response. In just she else just go silent on him. What was that? Hello? I think her headset died. I don't know. I heard it ding. Monica's done. Well, roll her over and baste her. No, no doubt. No, 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 no. Hang on, no, 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 no. You got, you get up, gotta go to temper to the thing and stab her. No, I had to take a breath. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> uh, Why? Are you trying? Are you trying to fork her? <laughs> <laughs> well, if, 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 if that's what you so, want to call it, stab. Their response was. Hello, we thank you for contacting us. While the maintenance has ended, a lot of players are having uh, issue connecting. Cryptic is aware of the issue, and we are hoping to have it resolved as quickly as possible. Please be sure to check out news and social media pages for our updates. Thank you again for your time and patience and support. As always, regards, Navi Specialist Game Master. So I instantly, I got, they fixed me right away, and I was able to get into Protector's Enclave. And I was like, I said something, because I, Right before that, I, I was telling people in Protector's Enclave to not log out because he wouldn't be able to log back in. And as soon as I came back, I said something, and they're like, how did you get back in so quickly? And I'm like, send the ticket on ARC. Oh, we use Steam. I'm like, well, that's your first problem. <laughs> yeah, well, see, my computer would not accept the ARC launcher for Star Trek or Neverwinter. So I, yeah. Even though originally had the game Something about signature corrupt. Hey, oh. you are corrupt. Oh, go play. Ah! <laughs> You're just jealous because I make it look good. No, no, no. You crash your burn quite off. Go to your room. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Don't make me call your mother. She's in bed. Go ahead. I'll get the Ouija board. Oh, that would be interesting. Hey, bring it on. Oh! I'll call my mother. I'll get a hold of my mother and play for your mother. Heaven, you'd probably regret calling your mother more than I would. I don't have to call her. She haunts me.
Well, 0 for 1 in rank. It's like, it's okay, I just had a... Trying to go after a uh, Chinese destroyer and... Bismarck just shot my destroyer. A friendly one. Uh, I told him I want to see your insurance info. See, because that's why that's why I stay deep. No, 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 no DD support. They can make Chinese very mad. You ate their cat. No, that's Korean dumbass. Oh. No, wait a minute, crazy dog. <laughs> Dumbass. Hey, your mother wear combat boots. And she kick you in the balls. And no, she go ding, 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 balls. ding. Because you're such a ding a ling. Drill, he's being mean. I'll just smack him around a little bit. You should have ah. attention. He didn't jerk. Still, still wish we could fire, shoot at those other planes that are floating in the air, Dave. Ones that are there just for scenery? Yeah. You're a psycho. Ah. I mean that in a good way. After all, I play never winter, right? Oh, no, not really. Sorry, wrong game. No. Oh. Because you're Moose Man, and it is worst named superhero. <laughs> Oh, we're about to lose another another D, D battleship. Yep, DD's got it again. It don't. It's the drop player, not the ship. <laughs> gotta blame the ship. Nope, you gotta blame the ding bat at the controls. I can't because there's not multiple ding bats. There's multiple DDs though. But there's multiple ding bats. They made, God made them by the score. They're mass produced. Remember, God loves assholes, or to make some. How is it? Yes, Lord Vader. There. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, we're getting... They've lost one ship, we've lost four. Because you suck, you get me that. No, it's the DDs. <laughs> On our team, not going after the DDs. Bottom line. Why are you even bothering your brain so I don't want to get embolism one of these damn guys? So I can put a thick on DDs. Burn, baby, burn! I gotta get at least one kill. Oh. Well, shoot yourself. Why? You're more fun. I'm not in your match. Six fucking ricochets off the Masashi. Amazing. Try right, Grace. Telephone. I was say text message or email. Oh no, now my cousin's in on this game. <laughs> Thank you. 
Three big ha ha ha. Getting retarded. Oh. It's, this is something I don't get very often. Weather alert. Wind advisory. Prolonged periods of strong winds expected. A strong cold front will move through New England today. Behind this front, very strong west and northwest winds will develop and continue through tonight and Saturday before diminishing as high pressure arrives on Saturday night and Sunday. Today's forecast, shitty forecast crappy. Look outside. <laughs> Four non pens, another ricochet. Wow. Don't yell, Max, don't yell. Cigarette. I can't. I can't do it when. I need to do play my game my way. You guys play your game your way. What do I get? What do I get? Oh, one of the Chinese pieces of shit. You hear me, World War shit? Oh, what? Oh, one gay fucking camo out of those stupid fucking chats. I have such. I needed a reason. Just kill the old man. I play that. Real public play on your motto. Let's see, how much Taylor level does she finish? Very quick. Go play in traffic. Oh. Mm, that could be why. Hello. Okay, my dear. Get down.
on the DDs or any starter stupidity. Yeah, thanks. Oh, I'll cover each of them. Our team is taking the lead. Fuck you, Rejilla. We destroyed an enemy battleship. That sucks. So... What the hell did I say?
good now. Okay. A Republic battle. Did we finish the first mission? Come on, give me combat missions. Stupid thing. Oh, so close to the Republic. 226,000. One more to go. Nobody on. Battle starts.
<laughs> Monkey's got a front gun. Jerk. Morning. Nice and cold out for you. stations. damage we can do with this Yamago. Ooh, Irene. 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 Yamato versus Yamato, and there's a Wooster. Wonderful world of Wooster. Oh, you Massive can't. storm moving in. Bugger off, massive storm.
shoes. Oh, I see the Delta Motto from the side. Awesome. Fire. Stupid bot. I said they're done fire. Secondaries.
Sound is working, yep. Okay. Make sure. of having blamed the fucking deed. Sashi, just out of my range. Here she comes. We're going to be back. Amazing! All around! 
on the fucking ship. Nothing hitting it. I just sit it down there, you boogie. Oh, it got fuck up. Come on, put it out of his misery. No, out of his misery. Masashi. Yes! Got the Ibuki. We destroyed an enemy cruiser. Looks like the room's running away. Nice glitch, oh, that's good. Fuck, come on, Misashi. Oh, yeah, I just sent it down the Misashi. There we go, guys. There we go. Another massage. Oh shit, shit, shit! Fuck off! over there and yet another failure wow what the fuck is he doing out there Fuck is 
this clown doing out here? Fucking moron. What a fucking idiot. Wake up. No. <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? Oh, he turned his sweater off. Fair folks. Bit of a last draw issue. Hey, wake up. Oh, damn it, say <laughs> That makes no sense. Oh my god. It's a rhyme. Fucking kids these days. Spotted! Missed. Enemy destroyer detected. Enemy cruiser sighted.
Oh, put a citadel to that Cleveland. That poor bitch. I think you slowed down. Bye bye, Cleveland. Oh, yeah, baby. Enemy cruiser sunk. Not on the fucking. Come on. Which one's left? Where, where is our battleship? Monarch, take out that Wooster. <laughs> Enemy battleship foundered. Booster had done that right. He would have rammed him. I would have. Twitch container, yay! Let's go for a super container.
Channel switch. Oh my god, child. You're so, so, so out of it. <laughs> you kids of today, I know nothing of yesterday. What up, never winner. <laughs> Are you crawling out of bed again? You West Coasters, man. I'm having a horrible time ranking you. I haven't tried rank. Oh, uh, you're 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 a hell of a lot better than me, but I, I you know, what, honestly, I'd say avoid it like the plague. Yeah, I don't really want to bother. just been it's been a slaughter like the master i lost we sunk one ship and i got the ship and i and i, I did 100k in damage like you can only do so much to buy it on your own right god i had an amazing first battle yesterday four kills over a hundred thousand damage and then it's been downhill ever since more <laughs> sponge hey what's up Thanks, because a lot of people have never played a ranked before. Yeah, Sate or... was in uh, Discord with me, and then he, he was talking to someone else, and I was like, oh, you're probably in TeamSpeak, too. <laughs> Sate, what channel are you on in Discord? I'm in a different Discord. Thought so. Because I'm like, there is never any f f 5D in Discord. Ever. No. And they're trying to transition into it, by the way. Yes, yes, I noticed, uh, I think it was, uh, Major Steel's first, uh, message of the year, how he was trying to get everybody to go there, because it's free. I wonder what he pays for this, anybody know? Oh, probably 50 or 60. No, that's not too bad. I'm not too sure. So, how, are you guys having any problems ever since they did the uh, Chinese update? Yeah. Not really. Wait, I'm... do you mean like game issues or like play, like gameplay? Well, this is what's happened to me since since the eight eight zero. I've I've had lag, like absolutely. Like random lag spikes. No, 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 no. Port lag. I could be sitting in port and clicking on play 50 times and it'll come up. Warships have yeah. stopped responding. Or the best one yet, and I think they fixed it in the last patch. I'm sitting there shoot. I'm sitting there all of a sudden here. You know, it's like it's like I got a twin beside me shooting, right? And I'm looking around me like there's no fucking shit with me, but something shooting. The shells were flying in the air and everything. <laughs> It's like, what the fuck? That's the Massachusetts, um, Massachusetts bug. Is that you what it is? You hear Massachusetts guns behind you? No idea. But actually, they fire over top of me. Yeah. Actually, at, uh, same target I'm firing. It's, like, it's like, almost like I'm firing, and then it's doing a second firing ten seconds later. It's like, okay. So, you, you played your CV much, Sate? Yeah, I just had a game in it. And? 194. Yeah, Team see, lost. see you, you, you did a lot of manual dropping before, right? Uh, yeah, but it's, it's not the same. It's close. It's different. No, it's no? different. Yeah? So, is the CV going to die? The, the gameplay? The, no. The, the 
play other the C V. No, it's not. I think it's like one in five are keeping their CVs. I've been looking for this movie that I saw a year ago. <laughs> Which one? About it's like a little five minute video of a worships oh. movie and I can't fucking find it. It's so funny. <laughs> How do I know you're looking for something sarcastic? The repub. <laughs> Sponge, you sound bored. I'm doing homework. Yeah. Say, shouldn't you be doing homework too? <laughs> hey, that's the first yeah, time I've been able to bug you about school. <laughs> what are you taking, Sponge? User joined your channel. This is Chemical Engineering 381. It's like thermodynamics in chemical engineering perspectives. You. That sounds like homework or work. I mean. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so so in the end, what? Do you plan on becoming? Uh, there's a lot of things I can go into. Oh, you don't I have... could go into petroleum. I could go into um, pharmaceuticals. I could get just pretty much anything I want to. I don't even have to get a job right after. I could go to grad school, get um, PhD, go become a professor, get a tenure. I could just... I could do whatever I want. Research doesn't oh, matter. Hell, I go. The the professor would be the amazing thing. For what? I didn't hear what you were going in for. Chemical engineer. Ah, oh, my sister's a um, what's it called? <laughs> Materials engineer. So a chemical engineer is where you design new drugs and stuff like that, I would assume. Yeah. Okay. Chemical engineer is anything from manufacturing on the small scale to uh, big scale in yeah, plants. It's, it's It does everything. It's everything. You could be an expert in distillation or separation. And go work for alcohol companies like Jack Daniels or something. Oh, sweet, could... Chester. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, you could work on stuff like biorenewable energy, which is what I'm probably going to do this summer. I'm going to be working for Renewable Energy Group. So, okay. what, what do they base? Have... What do they base it on? Like uh, thermal energy or or sun? Yeah, so. So, um, they, renewable energy is just any way that we can get energy without, um, expending too many resources From and Earth, it yeah, okay. should be quote unquote infinite because it's renewable. Because if you use coal, it doesn't regenerate. No. It takes years and ye thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of years. And... Uh, they'll use things uh, such as wind power or even currents in the ocean. They'll put buoys in the ocean and um, the waves will go up and down. 
and it'll cause motion. Right. And then uh, they'll have a they'll have a they'll have some way to turn that movement into shaft work on land. Right. And it powers a generator, and you have energy. Now, of all the renewable energy that you've obviously studied, what is the, uh, I don't know how to put this right or wrong, but the most, most non-realistic? The most non-realistic? Yeah, like, cold, what is it? It's fucking made up. Uh, solar energy. It's, it's cold fusion because it's fucking made up. No one can actually do it. That's the most made up. Now, if you're talking about, like, actual types of renewable energy that are out now that are the least feasible. Solar that energy. Would be solar, yeah. Is, no, is, it, is the least feasible? Yeah. Solar energy is the least feasible. Okay. Did you know that a one foot square of solar panels costs thousands of dollars? Yes. Yes. And Do you matters, know, yeah. you, you you know how much it's... energy is produced by a one foot square? Not a clue. You could probably power an RC car. That's about it. Wow. So if I mean, you want to line your entire roof with solar panels, it'll cost probably like, I don't know, $10,000, $15,000. Oh, keep going, keep going. What can you do? Power like half the lights in your fucking house? I don't know. On the a, way, the way they're, <laughs> the, the, the way they're preaching it up here, it's a hell of a lot uh, more efficient than that. So I, I, I don't know anything about it, so I'm not picking sides, but... You know, I'm just, I guess what they're preaching, so to speak. Interesting. Because there's ones up here, they're, say, two feet wide and, say, five feet tall. They say that that can keep the energy, or the battery on your RV charged, for example. I don't know if that's true or not, but... You know that's what they say, and that, you know, you know the the government and all those f people feed you a lot of bullshit, right? Oh yeah, you kind of have to do your own research in almost everything True. nowadays because you can't trust mainstream media and um, quote unquote experts. Because <laughs> they're all they're there. Bottom line is to make a buck. They'll feed you okay. anything to make a dollar. What do you what do you guys think about um, climate change? Well, you know, there's something happening. I'll say for sure, because like uh, when I was growing up as a kid, um, which was about 40 years ago, right? We used to get a shitload of snow up here in, in Alberta, right? Now mm -hmm. we 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 get a, a decent amount of snowfall. A month later, a week later, it goes above zero and it all melts and we get a flood. So, you know what I'm saying, right? You think that there's a an increase in temperature throughout the entire, I don't know, northern hemisphere, yes. southern hemisphere? Yes, I do. Okay. I've got another yeah, question I for you. I feel like you've got some, some sense that there is. Uh, no, that, that's not my argument. Okay. How much how much climate change is directly caused by humans? What do you think? Nobody knows the answer to that. I, I, I'd almost say all of it. Uh, the ocean cre creates quite a bit. Uh, there's a lot of CO2 produced by the ocean. Uh, that that question is kind of a really vague question because there's no way to actually measure how much is directly from human beings because you can't separate the amount of CO2 we produce from the rest of the world. Well, and and cutting down Fair all enough. the trees, you know, don't uh, take in the, the CO2 and replace air, right? The more trees we cut down, the less. Recycle, if you want to call it that. Yes, never mind, yes. Did that make sense? I got what you're trying to say. Yeah. And we're not planting enough trees to even attempt to re replenish that. Mm-hmm.
Like, like one thing I, I really didn't know, we, our water supply is taken out of what we call the North Saskatchewan River, and I didn't know that, okay, sure, sure, we uh, clean it up and all that, and then we dump it right back into the same river that people downstream take the same water for dr clean drinking water. I was like, kind of like, wow, you know, I don't care how you clean it up, it's still going to be not a very good quality water going back in, right? Mm hmm So it's like, wow. Of course, well waters, well, they're polluted all the hell, mostly. Yeah, I mean, pesticides wow. can get into your water, so, and that's really, really bad. Um, causes lots of diseases. Um, it can kill your livestock. It can damage crops. Well... It can, not not necessarily crops, it can damage the environment because uh, you can kill some fish and disable, or disable, uh, I'm sorry, I have three hours of sleep, um, mm. unbalance, kind of, the ecosystem. Right. Well, and, I, and then where I live, there's a shitload, like, it, it's farming. Alberta's a big farming, as well as oil. Right, so you got chemicals coming out of a yin yang going into the water system. It was like Literally when I, when I was down in YouTube history to find this fucking video. You're in California, right, Sate? Florida, hold on, my sister. Oh, you're in Florida. Well, I was, I was down in California two years ago, right, Christmas time, and normally from, from you know, I, I do pay attention to the temperatures on the west, west side of the states in Canada, and normally it's warm down there. I was down there, and it was like 12 degrees uh, Celsius, which is, is, is t-shirt weather for me. But I could tell who was who was local because they had parkas on, winter boots, gloves, you know, the winter gear. And I'm like, wow, it's not cold, but you know what I mean? Go, to go home, I hit Red in California, and it was a blizzard snowstorm. Okay, this is California. I didn't think this happened. Who's Travis? Well, that's me making these guys real mad. Oh. Well, I'm I'm talking to you right now. We could just talk in. <laughs> we could just talk. Okay. Are you guys in the same match? I'm trolling the shit out of people. Dude. This is great. Wait, are you trolling or are you serious? I mean, I'm partially serious because I'm tired of the whining <laughs> and CV players. Oh. And also, I'm 100% serious about the fact that for the hotfix, carriers could destroy boosters all the time. Nothing right. Really? Personally, personally I, I feel... In, I have never been struck in my booster. I would shred every single plane before they even no, got to me. No, absolutely not before the hotfix. Absolutely not. I'm sorry, but I've done it. It's happened to me in the Minotaur and the Wooster. Do you want to see my 91... Do you want to see my 91 plane kill game? Yeah, it can happen. I agree, you can shoot down a lot of planes, but it doesn't matter when they can send plane after plane after plane, and they can still launch stuff through you, add you through your defensive AA fire without anything happening to, like, 
any real consequences, especially when you have unlimited planes. Okay, you must have been fighting some super Unicom CV players because yes, that's you a, can that's dodge a poor flag. Argument. That's hang not on, true. Hang on. That's a poor argument, man. Like, don't make that argument because it's real bad. With the F spam, it didn't matter how good your AA was because you're just invulnerable. Oh no, F spam was completely broken. Which is why you could do that to losers and all that. What and the doing? AA did very little damage. Okay, okay, got F spam? What the hell's that? What? Okay, hold on. Catch me up. What are we talking about? I'm, I'm not quite sure. They're okay, so we're talking about pre hotfix and after hotfix. So he's making the claim that you could wreck Woosters in CV's pre hotfix anytime you wanted to. Just. Oh, I select Wooster. I could. Uh, I could. They, they'd rip my planes apart. Uh, it didn't, I'm sorry, but it, it happened a lot. I watched it happen in games. Like, it's no, not... Okay, so the trick was because because I had done a Des Moines, Des Moines Wooster all in the span of two minutes. I, yeah. And that was because I baited all three of their defensive fires. Oh, you send your, 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 your spotting in and then Sending torpedo bombers to everybody else. No, I just make them think that I was going in for a full strike. Well, I wasn't. And then all three of them pop defensive A. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. What I'm arguing is before the hotfix, the defensive A A wasn't effective. Yes, okay, it was. Uh, no, that's not true. Yes, it, it was. It wasn't that effective. I'm sorry. Yes, it was. Effective. It was not. Okay, your play style is definitely not I play on pretty... par with mine. Guys, guys, I play all whoa. kinds of cruisers, and that's the main thing I play right now. And there was very little you could do. as like With two CVs in every match, it felt like there was nothing you could do. The CVs okay. decided the game, and that's not how the game should be. DV, you should only have one CV per match. I think everyone should agree on that. And yet well, now okay. you can have up to three. Hold on. Hold on. The defensive fire, its goal is not to necessarily shred planes out of the air. Yeah, it's supposed to make the planes less accurate, that kind of stuff. And I'm, yeah, yes, I'm fine with that. that. That's, that's what I'm fine with, but it didn't, because I would still get hit by all the rockets from a rocket barrage. Like, it wasn't... Okay, so you're not talking about pre-rework. Yeah, I am. No, pre of the hotfix. Okay, then they you just released. Clear. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm talking defensive, about pre-hotfix. Yeah, okay. Defensive fire back then was trash. I agree, I agree entirely. Before hotfix? Before the hotfix. Yeah. Before the hotfix, you could so. hit defense. Before the hotfix, I could hit defensive fire, and I would have a whole squadron over me, and I would shoot down maybe one plane if I was lucky. Okay, no, I would well, we'll look at the plane damage. Yeah, plane damage is... Yeah, plane damage is... who's getting the plane kill. Yeah, no, I agree, I, but that's like, I'm saying one plane would have been shot down entirely out of that whole squadron. Well, okay, so do you know how the health bar works? I understand how health bar is. I understand so each that. plane I'm, I'm has arguing. HP, and then... So you were probably doing damage to each plane individually, but yeah. on, total, throughout the entire, like, HP pool, you probably shot down one plane. And my argument is that is not the way it should be. You should shoot down one plane after the other. They, they, they can spread out, like, it's it's either got to be they all share a health pool and you lose planes over time as you lose that health pool, or they have all individual health pools and they're lower than what they are now. Because what they were before is each plane that's was how, a fucking tank. That's how pre-CV rework was. Well, also, you have to remember that flak bursts are not even controlled. If you I agree. say that, if you say that, oh, I'm just going to take these captain skills and I'm going to be untouchable by planes, while I don't have to control them at all, they're not manual whatsoever, and the CV player has to rely on his skill to get past my flak, that's... Yeah, but a CV player right. also has the advantage of being able to do damage to anything on the map without revealing itself at any point. It that's is immune from retaliation, periods. and this is the point of AA cruisers, I agree. That's the point of...
enjoy CV play. I just don't like that top down stuff. Okay. I didn't before the the rework, and now with the rework, I just I haven't had an interest to play. I mm -hmm. hate it. Sure. Period. I enjoyed being able to control seven seven different you know groups of planes. Now it had a high um, skill cap and it had a big learning curve. I like that, but people were like, there were a lot of problems with it. But I think post rework has even more problems than pre rework. Oh yeah. oh yeah. And you have to realize all the ships you're playing against at tier ten are ships that came out after World War Two that were entirely designed for anti aircraft defense. Like there's going to be a lot stronger AA you're up against. So they have to balance it in such a way where your carriers still are useful without releasing a carrier that's too far ahead of what everything else is. Yeah, really, I'm just tired of whoever it is making an argument that because someone doesn't have a CV, they shouldn't have an opinion. That really is just, it annoys the shit out of me. From it's two a, different perspectives from but it's a, it's both a, sides of the people receiving, being struck by a CV, and the people actually having to do the strike. Also, yeah, but it's, a, it's an argument thing from is, authority that's really, really bad. No, but another thing is, if you don't play CVs, how can you claim that you're unbiased and that your opinion is based on both sides? You can't. I mean, you can if you play the game. Like, I, I play this game and I want it to be balanced. I want this game to make sense and be enjoyable for yeah, everybody. Yeah, and right now, and that means, it's not balanced. Can I, that means that I can actually look at it and say, hey, these are the strengths of one thing, these are the strengths of another... We need to make it so that every type of ship you play, you play intelligently. It's like playing a destroyer. You avoid uh, radar cruisers, specifically because you know that they can fuck you up. That should be the same thing with a carrier. You should be avoiding AA cruisers, because you know they can fuck you up. You shouldn't be flying into them, or flying around them, or trying to get up close to them and launch stuff at them, and not get uh, annihilated. Like you would with a destroyer against a radar cruiser. But you do get annihilated. That's what I'm saying. That's the case. That's that's the way it should be. That is the way it should be. And it is. It was before, yes. and it is now. It wasn't before the hotfix. Before the hotfix, AA did absolutely no damage. No, not not much. Yeah, no. Uh, I'm gonna defend the hotfix this time. Say, go the play The hotfix is still way too strong for AA. No, no, it's it's not. It takes. Now it forces you to be careful, one, with your planes, two, to learn how to leave, like, before there was no fight, like, all the CV had to do was go and attack. The CV did not have to go and attack and come back. Now, if you want to save your planes, you have to get out of the fight. So drop bombs and bail right or left and floor it. If you can't strike a solo ship, that's fucked up. Okay, I cannot, so I cannot strike a solo Des Moines with my gearing. Because I know the Des Moines will fuck me up. <laughs> if you, you should be able to solo strike a Minotaur with your fucking planes, because a Minotaur has the best AA in this fucking game. Okay, if you're targeting a Yamato, and he shreds every single one of your planes before you can even drop him, that's stupid. At a Are you sure that it was solo Yamato that you were going after? And this did he is... have his fighter cooldown? Is who? No his, fighter. His fighter this, cooldown. This is Cogsy. He, he and I oh, played together. Okay. And he went to strike a, a Yamato. He didn't get a single torpedo off. Yeah, because your torpedoes... Your torpedoes right now for carriers have really, like, wide dispersion. And the American torpedoes No, 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 no. And if you're playing... No, it's not that he didn't hit any. Okay, he, here's the head carrier. You should be launching from distance with those torpedoes. It's not that he didn't get the uh, any torpedo hits. He didn't even get to drop him. All of his all of his planes completely destroyed before they could even reach the Yamada. Did you try to drop them from distance, or did you try to drop them up close? No, Cogsy knows how to play in Korea. Cogsy is the one of the best CV players in all of 5D right now. Okay, and just putting that out there. I can't make an argument for the Amato's AA because I don't have the Amato. The Amato's AA is trash. It's supposed to be the worst. It is the worst tier 10 battleship AA. 
Like a Lexington pre we were work. Yeah, I can't. I, and I if can't you're shredding planes, I, I wasn't there. I don't know what, what he faced against. I don't know if it was alone or not. I don't know what was going on. All I can say is from my personal experience before the hot fix, AA was literally a non entity. Okay, give me one second. I have to take a call from my roommate. I was in practice and we were pre we had uh, two CVs and, and one guy had an Iowa and I, the other guy there was an Iowa bot. <laughs> Those Iowas were shredding our planes. Pretty, yeah, but pretty I mean, hard. Iowa and Wisconsin have really good AA. They have the best AA for the tier 10 battleships. You say Wisconsin? Or uh, Minnesota, uh, Montana. Ah, Montana. Montana. Yeah, Iowa and Montana have the uh, best AA for. A tier 10 battleship. Their AA uh, rating is very yeah. high. It's like cruiser high. Yeah, no, I don't like having a strike in Montana or Iowa. No, it's really hard. Yeah. Even Conquer, which is kind of annoying. I don't know. Yeah, the Montana and Iowa were designed to escort carriers yeah. and shoot down planes. Bottom, yeah. bottom line, 8.0 should not have been released. Period. I right, well, not period, but it, no, it, it's, it's not complete. It's not complete. It's just they couldn't complete it. They needed to have live test server. Yeah, live, live server tests. I thought they did all that, though. No, this is the live test. This functions as live test. They had a, uh, the beta stuff for it. Oh. But you won't know what's really going on until you put it out into the world. Because, you know, they should have had everything complete. The bots should have been done. And they're not. That's why there's no bots in some in in co-op or op ops. There's like five or six ops that they had to take out because they couldn't put CVs in them. You know, either do it okay. right or don't do it at all. Yeah, but that's like the point of this. They have to gotta get the gameplay done. It. Yeah. They have to know how it actually works in the real world to make it right. They can't just, like, guess and get it right. Well, no, no, but my point is, put it all in or don't put it in. Like, you can't put half and half while the bots play a, a huge part in the game. What half have they not put in? Any bot CVs. I mean, to be Better. fair, no one cares about bots. And, like, the reason they can't, they haven't done that is because they're still making, like, on-the-spot changes to these carriers. Like, they don't want to put the bots in because that's going to be a more set thing. The bots so aren't even, it. the programming for the bots isn't even done. I know yeah, several CVs. with a player. Or play, play testers, I mean. Yeah, but there's, yeah, like, yeah. there's all the, there's a whole bunch of ops that you can't play because the bot CVs aren't yeah, right. look done. At it, look at it from this perspective as a work thing, right? So you build the... the the carriers, you put them out for people to play, people play them, you change them a bunch of times as you kind of figure out where the balance is, keep changing, 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 there's like six or seven changes they go through, and then after you're done all that, you do one set coding situation where you make the bots. What you're talking about is if they put out the bots and the player ones at the same time, they'd have to change the coding for the bots every single time they made a change for the players. It's twice the amount of work that they'd have to do. This is a significantly easier and faster way to do it. The bots are the last priority. It's the random battles that they've got to focus on. Yep. No, no, no. Well, yes and no. People should technically be getting gaining experience in random battles rather than go up past tier 3 and 4. Mm-hmm. Like when I first started playing, I loved playing co-op because I, I, I knew I was winning. I was like, man, I'm fucking awesome. And then I realized I was actually playing against bots. And I was like, oh, shit. And then I would jump in a random battle. I'm like, why are there so many actual players in this game? Why am I having my ass handed and to then, me, too? Yeah. And then I started learning how to get better at the game. So I was I'm realizing really how easy fucking co-op is. Well, I know I'm getting slightly better. My percentage jumped a full. I jumped a full percent so far this year so far. So 
so. I just want rank to end. Down with rank. I swear they fucked something up in there. I swear. Like, I've, I've never had this much problem going, even up from 10 to 12. That's, that's three wins, you know. And the biggest issue, and I'll say this, I don't care what anybody says, is the destroyers have become, they, they've got the Trump head. That's all I can say. You know, you, you tell them, hey, go after the DDs. No, no, they got to go after the, the other battleship. And what happens to our team? We get destroyed by the enemy DDs. You know, it's like. So what do you think of a fighter change for, for regular ships? What do you mean? Well, you went from one to, uh, in some cases, four. Well, that makes sense for the change in the CVs and yeah, how yeah. the attack squadrons work and stuff. Because one plane doesn't, like, before one plane could affect a whole squadron, because a whole squadron was like a set unit and mm -hmm. you had to use it like that. Now that the squadrons are like, you, you basically break ships off to go attack stuff and all that and make makes a little bit more sense yeah okay i thought it was interesting didn't notice it because so one of the guys goes hey i got four planes in here i'm like what the fuck you talked about so hit launched my fighter on the yamato i'm like oh cool up a gun on a high thing high yang 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 is that what it is <laughs> trying to take out trying to destroy my Achilles heel Ooh, a penetration oh here's a question for you guys is there a DD in the game that has a citadel Uh, no, the only ones that can actually take AP damage, though, are Kava and Yarguma. Okay, because we got this other guy in, in another, in another chat. He said he citadeled a destroyer. What? That's, that's just stupid, because destroyers don't have citadels. I know, I know, I know, and that's what we, we... Is he trolling you? I have no idea. This, this guy's got a lot of, I think, issues. <laughs> you know, I, I swear he's just there to argue. That's his thing. Oh, that's it. Beat that, beat that Neptune. And Neptune is the Citadel capital of, the, of World of Warships. Enemy heavily damaged. Mm. Oh, in rank? It is the ship you look for to kill. Oh, right. Say, yeah, but... The Citadel capital is the Emerald. Alright. In my Lexington, they had a fail division, right? And it was an Emerald, and then they had like uh, two tier six ships and the Emerald. And I'm like, in in all chat, I'm like, hey, Emerald, what's up, buddy? <laughs> he's, like, he's like, 
wait, this matchmaking's bullshit. And I was like, uh, you you did this to yourself, buddy. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the strike him with H E Citadels. Double Citadel. Bye bye, Neptune. <laughs> yeah. So the was, argument that I'm I think annoyed it was six at. six hits. I think I got double Citadel, or maybe it was yeah, double Citadel. <laughs> Yeah, the argument I'm annoyed at is the one that Scout keeps making about, uh, because I have an informed opinion, my, I'm somehow more worthwhile than you are, some shit like that, like, that's really annoying. I think my best Citadel had to be a Quad Citadel on the Amato. That was cool. I've been there a few times. With the CV? No, 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 no. It was with a, oh. a, with a Yamato against a Yamato. Well, that happens a lot. I've never, I've done singles, or maybe doubles, but not a quad. Yeah, I do that all the time with my Montana. Yeah, yeah. I can dev strike Yamatas and get like six Citadels and just out outright kill it. Yeah. Dev strike from full HP. Hey, I'm working on it, okay? Damn it all! Actually, never winner. Don't bring him down. Huh? <laughs> what? I mean, they have that big open cheek that's just Citadel City when you really shoot with yeah. anything that would be. The Yamato is right behind the front set of guns, right? Uh, or second right set of guns? The, it's right underneath their guns. Underneath? Oh, I keep uh, aiming for behind the front set of guns. I mean, you, yeah, you want to aim in front of it so that, you know, they travel into there. Second turret. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah wanna, second turret. You want to hit under the front turrets there, you'll get it. Where's the, where's the Montana sweet spot? Same spot? It's waterline all across the ship. Oh. From the front gun to the back. Montana? Yeah. 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 Montana lower. also... Montana also um, has really good deck armor. I think it's 38 mil. And then it's got pretty good mm -hmm. broadside armor. And actually, the Montana's the best ship to be in if a Yamato's shooting at you. Cause yeah. Can take the beating, right? Well, I mean, I like playing in my boss or whatever against a uh, Yamato. Tier ten battleship, not. Because if you take a Republic, congratulations. You're gonna eat it. You're fucked. <laughs> yeah. Thirty-two millimeter armor everywhere that the Yamato overmatches. Instant citadels. I don't know. I do pretty goddamn DK? good in my Republic. UK. Great. Well, yeah, but. <laughs> You're not gonna win a fight Great when I'm going against Yamato. Great health pool, but yeah, you get fucked by pens. If you take, I don't know, Conquer, you're I, still pretty fucked. I, I think I think I've been screened that enough times not to show broadside. Maybe that's why I survive. <laughs> right, Sage? Yeah. Alright, I'm not gonna find this video. You know what? You'll find it when you're not even looking for it. Yeah. That, that's what always happens. You're looking for something, you're pulling your hair out, and one day you're like, hey, there's a bloody thing. Ooh, 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 repub, repub, you're gonna get hurt. Oh, crap, a ricochet. You bastard. Hey, Sage. Hmm. Why on my stream, every once in a while I get there was a network error. Please try again. What's, what causes that? Any idea? Uh, network issues? Your Wi-Fi? But it's not, it's not Wi-Fi though. 
I mean, I'd assume it might be your upload and download speeds. Hmm, interesting. What are you trying to do? Well, I get a network error on str when I'm streaming. Just hmm. on, just on, like, because I watch my stream, right? So every once in a while it pops up. Weird. Oh, I hate the stupid cyclone. I like the other. I like the blizzard where it's it's like almost a whiteout. I like this. it's the cyclone, but it's snowing. Huh. Cyclones are warm, aren't they? God damn it. Say, this Indian kid's messaging me again. <laughs> How do you the know it's an Indian kid? He's got a class for them. Oh, oh, okay. And he's asking for help? I'll help anybody once, but when it when it becomes ten, fifteen times, it's like block. Or or if I if I if if if, if they're improving on something, sure I'll let them hand here and there, you know. You pull. Just to up. <laughs> no, no, I gotta leave. I gotta help some, give somebody a ride, and hope they come home and make seven hundred bucks. like I'm arguing against the Special Olympics on here. I don't know, I'm done. I'm bought, being advised is a choice. It's like saying you hate tofu if you've never tried tofu. That's a... What? That's exactly what it is. If no, it's you not. Say, okay, you can't if you say you hate never, something if you've never tried it. Have a good one, one, guys. Disconnected.